yesterday. The Steelers tied the Browns week one and got beat by an NFL quarterback making his third NFL start at home on Sunday. Pick this team to go to the Super Bowl. I'm embarrassed by what I'm seeing from the Pittsburgh Steelers. I truly, truly am. First of all, their defense is horrible. Okay, uh, you know, I, I mean, it, it, their secondary. I don't even want to get started. Oh, it comes out. Smith Schuster coughed it up. Something sucks. Um, so, we felt this feeling before, and you know, it's tough to go on. And if Pittsburgh misses the playoffs, and they're on the outside looking in, how devastating to know that your football team is this good, and you can go in here and possibly win this. The Steelers will have to win next Sunday at home against Cincinnati and have Cleveland, which won today and is surging and is 500 on the season at 7-7-1. The Steelers will need the Browns to beat Baltimore in Baltimore. Coupled with their win, they would have to start have out against Cincinnati. You have a tie against the Cleveland Browns. Then you go on a win streak. You lose games to the Raiders, to the Broncos that you shouldn't you lose. You beat the New England Patriots, and you're on, tra on track yep. to beat the New Orleans Saints in the Superdome, and you find they, a way the, to lose The, the Steelers game. have kind of lost their identity of what they are offensively. I mean, you know, Roethlisberger, they, they, they got get themselves in. Those at 50 times, but there's just no rhythm in it. And it's it's really tough. And I understand I understand score sometimes dictates what you have to do. But they have struck midnight, though, as far as the Steelers' playoff concerns are there. They need a little bit of help. They need to win next week to get in and have – about it. I know Mike Tomlin got on me before when he showed up on the show because he said, you said the same thing about my offensive line a few years ago, and look at that. Well, I've been saying that. put on that tweet following the Saints game that you Man, because I'm, I'm not the type of person to to go and hide. You know, obviously, hide on social media. Uh, you know, I what I put out was, I took, you know, full responsibility, you know, of, you know, protecting the ball. You know, that's something that we work on every day, day in, day, in, day out. And it's just how I think got the best of me. And, you know, after that play, I mean, obviously I felt terrible. But, um, you know, you live and learn, and, you know, you make everybody makes mistakes, and you just got to keep moving on.